What is up, fellow bench warmers? Welcome to your daily fantasy. What's up, guys? Welcome to Quickie uh, Playoff Quickie Week 21. My name is JJT with Commish, Commish Eric, and let's kick things off. Of course, another 60 point game today was made by who else? Well, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. And this, as he was doing 60, Commish, this thing came to my mind. This question came to my mind. Is it worth it? Was Kyrie Stash worth it? If you're a, if you're alive, yeah, uh, still alive uh, at this point, when you own Kyrie, yes, it's worth it. And I was talking to our friend Regan, who we have guested. He uh, stashed Kyrie in one of our leagues, and he told me out of nowhere. He just messaged me that Kyrie's worth it because he's alive. He's in a quarterfinals matchup. Sixty points, as he said. It's just, it's probably the whole week's worth already. Eight Good for three games, games, right? Good for three yep. games. Yep. And you just put him in your IL class, and, 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 then... and that's not no? it. He had three, what, four steals today? Uh, how many rebounds and assists? I mean, it's not just sixty points. It's not just sixty points that he gave. He gave a lot, and I, I think he only had one turnover. Shot very well. Um, you know, didn't wasn't trigger. He was really hot and. You know, I, I, I was, I've been watching Kyrie uh, when he's playing. It seems like, well, he's... he. No, I can't say he got better, but he seems better this year. Uh, more efficient. Se- seems like he can't miss. I'm, I'm not sure if it's... Of course, the rest thing is only playing road games, right? I mean, he doesn't... The mileage is not there. So, um, I think that helped him be fresh every game. Uh but yeah, he's been he's been really good when he's playing. Really good. Yeah, he's been he's been good. Uh lately, especially lately. I think he's trying to prove especially after Harden was traded. I think he's trying to prove a point there that, you know, uh he can he can be the they don't need Harden. He can be the second option for KD. You could see it. You could see it when he plays and he's more motivated. When when Harden was traded, that was the best thing that happened to him. Now whether this will continue for your team or not. Just remember, they have two games next week. And if he does something like this, 40-40, 30-40, that would be worth it also. Yeah. So I'm just saying, he has two games on week 22. I think one on week 23 and one on 24. That's it. That's it for a season. <laughs> so if you if you get it until the end, then yeah, he's worth it. Yeah. Right? Uh, I, mean, I am against games. him. I am against him in uh, so, the All-Star League. And really unfortunate for, for me. Uh, but yeah. it's still close. That matchup is still close. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. We've got lots of games tomorrow. Pretty much a full slate. Uh, so we'll see what happens to tomorrow's game. Let's talk about some injury update. Uh, you know, if Kyrie owners are happy with Kyrie, maybe some of these guys you won't be happy about. Then let's let's start. Can we start off with can we the start favorite with player? Butler? Yeah. See, I, I knew it. Uh, yes. I knew you. We would go there. Jimmy Butler again got injured, um, sprained ankle. Well, what mo- what more can we say? Is he uh, now? Now here's my question. Here's my question. Given that Jimmy Butler pretty much was healthy, plays road games, plays home games, is he? Is he? Is Kyrie more worth it than Jimmy Butler at this point? No, I, I won't go that far. I won't go that <laughs> far because uh, I'll just I'll just put it this way: Kyrie probably cost you a fourth, fifth, sixth rounder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably cost you a fourth or fifth or sixth. Very low cost. Jimmy yeah. cost you. Well, yeah. In in that. If way, you think Jimmy about cost... it, Jimmy cost you what? First round, second round. Early, yeah. early second round. Yeah. Early second there, round. Well, yeah, I guess you have a point there. If if you didn't pick Jimmy, you have it's not Jimmy versus Kyrie. I guess if you, if you didn't pick Jimmy, you have pick you would have picked another first or second rounder, which would have been better. And then you stash yeah. Kyrie. That would be better. Yeah, I I would agree with that. With that. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I, I mean, that's the thing is you know not looking at their draft position at this point. Who was the better player? 
uh, you would who was you know the player that you would rather have because uh, Jimmy Butler's you know, been annoying. He's been worse than Shea, I guess. I mean Shea when he yeah. plays, uh, he plays really well. Jimmy Butler when he plays, sometimes he gives you these numbers. Especially lately, he hasn't really sure. given you much. Yeah, lately he has been terrible. But but I guess to answer your question is how many percent of Kyrie owners are still alive? That that that's that is important to see True. because because you know maybe a lot of them are already out. So yeah. well, maybe a lot of Butler owners are also out. <laughs> so we don't know that. Yeah. Well, you're in. You're still in the quarterfinals, so you're still alive. Well, I think the, the, one player that really got a lot of managers in the playoffs has been Dejounte. Those players, Miles Bridges, those guys. Mm-hmm. I think uh, if you have those, you have a higher likelihood that you are in the playoffs uh, because they've been really good throughout the season and they've been you know low end picks right I, I think those are from what I can see like most of the players uh, in our FBW leagues who are who were uh, who got in the playoffs and you know have been really strong had those players with them um Dejounte um the, the Miles Bridges so I think those were the guys that um, really carried some of the teams here. So yeah, Jimmy Butler, uh, I would think he's going to be out. They only have another one game left this week. I, I, I know I'll be surprised if he plays. No. Um, but no. yeah. Uh, he's probably out for the week. He's out yeah. for the week. Uh, ben Simmons, another stash. Uh, so when are we... Him. Yeah. You drop him. Got you know you you were fed up with Ben Simmons at this point. No, no, I I I was reading the 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 interview of Steve Nash and he said he's coming back this season, but there's no timetable. It doesn't seem like. And he was Nash was very happy to see him dribbling. And I'm just in the point of if you're happy to see <laughs> Simmons dribbling, how far how far <laughs> is the road still for him before he comes back? Uh, yeah. Probably week twenty three. Maybe so. It's just not... weird for a player like him who hasn't really played, you know, who didn't really play the whole season. And mm. what are we saying? He's out of shape or what? Uh, I mean, Kyrie hasn't really played the whole season, but when he was allowed to play by the Nets, he was ready. He was there. I mean, it didn't take long. I mean, he got into COVID again, but uh, it did not. Take this long for him to start playing, right? Uh, we we don't know the exact problem. They said it's they say it's a back thing. So, yeah, maybe he he party too hard and maybe Gary <laughs> stayed in shape. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, this yeah, but, uh, um, if you're in the playoffs, I don't think, and then you don't have it, it's worth. You know, it doesn't it's, it's not meaningful to uh, stash him at this point if you're in the playoffs. I mean. But then you're going to get two more weeks, three more weeks of... Uh, well, for sure, most likely, he's not going to play this week anymore. Uh, yeah. Let's say he plays next week, you get him for two more weeks, and what? He's going to be on minutes restrictions. Yeah. Um, uh, and I doubt he'll get more than 20 minutes for that week. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. I doubt he'll, he's going to get lots of stats uh, during that 20 minutes because, you know, the yeah. OKD, you've got lots of guys there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, not not really uh, a good stash at this point. Jared Allen, well, he could be back, but not. I'm not sure if he's going to be back in time for your playoffs. Um, maybe mm. week 24, 23? I think. The, the, the news is he didn't, take, he didn't do the surgery. Yeah. So he wants to come back uh, and play, play through it. So probably the last two weeks. I, I, I'm feeling like the last two weeks is probably try to get back in shape. Before the playoffs. Yeah. And lastly, we have Fred Van Pleet and OG. OG could play anytime now. Mm. Um, that's the challenge because we don't want to... The, the challenge here with OG is that you really have to be ready. And would you add him? Let's say you see him. OG? Way, yeah. yeah. And, you know, uh-huh. he's a game time decision. And then, you know, they declare him, yeah, he's going to play. Would you add him? Yeah. Yes. Because I'll, I'll have second add... thoughts. I'll have second thoughts. Because he might no. be on minutes restrictions. He might, you know, he hasn't been playing well either. Um, 
early. I mean, this year. Uh, even even if he's in minutes restriction, an OG I think will be better than any of your streamers. I just I feel like uh, his injury is the finger, right? Yeah. Am I, am I, the hand yeah. somewhere some. Yeah, something about the I hand. I remember the last guy who's like that is Caruso. And I just feel like these guys with hand injuries, they're not as, you know, out of shape as the guys who have knee, uh, ankles, you know, Achilles. Those are harder to get back from. I just feel like OG, I think he'll he'll be fine. Uh, he's not really a, a scorer. So maybe he'll help you with the steals, the rebounds, you know, the other stats. So I, I think you add him. I think you add him. Yeah. But... When you add him, is critical. I don't think he's going to play tomorrow. It's probably another day. Yeah, that's, another it. Game. that's why it's so hard to add him, uh, especially in the playoffs, because you know, um, you waste one move and then he plays, what, 20 minutes, uh, less yeah. than that. So that's like, uh, I don't like him. I'd rather add, what, Brandon Clark, right? Would you rather yeah. add Brandon Clark yes. over yes. OG, right? Let's talk about some he's of in these my five players. players. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Brandon Clark. Yes. I love Brandon Clark. Um, especially, um, the especially since you know um, after the All Star, he has been really great. Bruce Brown. Um, would you add Bruce Brown? Would you add OG over Bruce Brown? Mm, at this point. Yeah, at the playoffs. I mean, if you I, have still, players I, to stream. I'll, no, I still hold Bruce Brown. I still hold Bruce Brown and Brandon Clark. I still hold those two. Yeah. Um. How about the Anthony Melton? No, OG. 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 All right. Uh. Yeah. So so the other players who are by players or CS toward in case he was dropped. Uh. I'm not. I I don't see any ICS towards there. But yeah. Um. Of course, we go at Stewart right over OG. Well, it depends on what you need, I guess. I I, uh, I can I can see that if you need a re- but. He can give rebounds. Stewart can give rebounds, rebounds and blocks, but uh, no steals Plumlee though. Can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mason Plumley can do that. So, so uh, a lot of people can do that at this point of the season. But he's I, I put Stewart there, but don't don't for one uh, time uh, think that I feel like he's gonna be a top one hundred guy the rest of the season. He's in the level of. Plumlee. Yeah, he's going to be a specialist at this point. I mean, when yeah. you're in the playoffs, he's most likely a specialist. If you need to beef up your rebounds and blocks, that's all he gives at this point. No scoring. Yeah. Um, no steals even. Um, so, yeah. He's going to... Blackstone gonna... level. Maybe something like that at this point. I think... I, I guess a little better. Well, if... Just slightly yeah. better than Blackstone. I'll I'll debate that. I don't think he's better than Claxton. If if LMA doesn't come back huh, at this point, Claxton at twenty minutes is probably better than Stewart because he has steals and blocks, higher steals and blocks. So, and yeah, uh, true. But yeah, Claxton is another of our buy players uh, together with Stewart. Killian Hayes. Uh, again, Detroit has a good schedule this week. They have a game on that day wherein there's just one game, so. Yeah, Killian Hayes could be a low end ad, um, especially in um, deeper leagues, I guess, or if you need assists and skills. Um, who else? Mo Wagner uh, from the Magic, another Magic. player with a great schedule. So, yeah, that's another player you can add who has been getting the minutes. Um, yeah, so those are our max trust in case Jimmy Butler is out. So, those are our. Some of our buy players or Torian stream Prince. players. Torian, Torian Prince, Prince because of Jaden. Jaden McDaniels, by the way, is going to be out for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And Vanderbilt, we're not sure if he's going to play. But yeah, in case he does. I mean, even if Vanderbilt plays, I think Torian has value. Uh, he's been playing well of late. Uh, you know, scoring, what, 12, 13 points, maybe one to two three-pointers, uh, one one to two steals, a block here, uh, and some rebounding. And uh, so all, all around for a streamer, I think Torian Prince has been good. Uh, so yep. yeah, uh, could be added as well. Uh, I guess it now depends on the schedule. You have to be careful about when to add these players because tomorrow there's going to be a full slate. And then we have that one game um, day. 
and then the following day after that one game it's going to be another full slate for most yeah. uh, so so you have to be careful and when to add so pretty much at this point uh if you were going to add you're probably going to add for friday's game or i mean the lone game uh so your options could be you know those players it's going to be hard <laughs> because tomorrow's going to be a full slate so unless you're dropping if, players that are not relevant at this point if you have limited moves in your week i suggest just letting go of that one game day i mean yeah. i'm not streaming that one game there's day. no if, if there's no one really to stream i mean well there's killian hayes maybe there's but kelly are, Olinik, yeah but, um very Michael low Holtz, wagner as i just mentioned rj hampton but it's it's a waste of move in my opinion if these yeah. guys give you seven points four rebounds i don't think that matters really in the in the bigger scheme of things yeah like well, sports did play well today unfortunately yes. Yes. Uh, we were Another. recommending him for a stream. Did not play well today. Well, well, he had two steals and one block, I think. So yeah, yeah I think he had two bad. blocks and a steal, I think something yeah. like that. Yeah, and that three bad. assists, I think. So yeah, it was okay, uh, but not not the faults that we wanted really. Hmm. Uh, plus, they got blown out really bad. So yes, um, that yes. limited his minutes as well. So yeah, those are streams. But yeah, you can like Komish said, you can let go of that. Uh, one game, especially if your opponent doesn't have really that many players. I mean, he might have two players playing there, but those two players might not be the best, his best players. I mean, might not be the top Magic or uh, uh, Detroit players. So, uh, I, might as well, you know, no waste a move until the last day. I would be okay if you already did that before the week. Like you added uh, either the start of the week or last week, your last move you added a Detroit or Orlando player. Then just keep them until you know until the stream is done, right? Yeah. You can get two or three streams. But if you're gonna add now, the value is lower. A little because, too know, late. Too late. Yeah, too late. Too uh, late. Maybe Brooklyn. Brooklyn has a back to back tomorrow, right? Today yeah. and tomorrow. Phoenix okay. also. Phoenix has four games in the next what? Uh, five six days. Yeah. Well, one one is over. So three in the next four, three in the next four for Phoenix and Brooklyn. So these guys are actually better better ads for me. Might have better options. So yeah, there. Yeah. That's it uh, for daily fantasy quickie. Um, so good luck this week. I got blown out this week uh, just because my opponents had Kyrie, um, those guys. So I wish I had one against Komish, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, still close. Some of the matches are still close. Um, at least our league, in our league, I'm still leading after today. So let's see. If we, I I, don't, I won't have Jimmy Butler. Do you think? Yeah, I know I should have dropped Anthony Davis already. But yeah, <laughs> drop him, man. Drop him. There's no point. There's no point. All right. I have to. I. I it looks like I have to dro- really drop him now. Um, if I want to maintain that lead. Uh, anyway, that's it for Daily Fantasy Quickie. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.